So my grandfather farmed in Connecticut, and my Aunt Sharon and Uncle Dan went up and started their own farm up in Illion, and then they moved up here to Mansville, and then in 94 they bought Doubledale, and there's been a whole lot of changes. Dan started talking to robotics a few years ago, and then here we are today. We have eight milking robots, eight manure collector robots, and then we have a feed pusher robot. With all those uh, robotics, it keeps the people out of the barn, so the cows are more comfortable, more relaxed, less stress. The barn actually stays cleaner than what we could ever do without having to push the cows around. The feed's constantly pushed up to them, and there's just, just so much information being gathered between the milk that is going into the robots and the transponders on their necks, so we can look at rumination as her cud chewing, and then the activity, if she's inactive for so long, why isn't she getting up and moving around? It blows your mind what, you know, the, what technology can do today. Typical morning, I start out, look at the list, who hasn't come in to milk, who do I have to go look at during certain times of the year, get out, go out in the tractor, or whatever needs to be done. Kind of just jump around, do a little bit of everything. And you know, with the robots, it gives me that flexibility to walk away because the cows are still being milked. I've been here 15 years, but I'm still the low guy on the totem pole because the other herd manager has been here 30 years, our feeder's been here 25, and the crop guy's been here 20, so we've got a good group that's been here for a long time. Family farming is, you know, it's a way of life, you know. You're caring for a living creature and trying to give it the best possible life. Obviously, you're trying to produce milk from these cows, but you're, the better job you do to raise these cows, the better return you're gonna get.